Hey Wix Nation, MPS here from Wix Training Academy and thank you for joining us in today's video. So let's answer the elephant in the room first. Where was MPS? Well guys, I was actually on an awesome trip with my family. Uh, my brother had graduated this year and we took a big family trip to Japan and Hawaii. In fact, I'll even throw up a couple pictures right now just as we're discussing the intro here so you can see a little bit of behind the scenes of the trip. But that's where I was. Thank you for joining us in today's video where we're going to discuss how to create Corvid databases in dynamic pages. For those of you that don't know, Wix just rebranded Wix code to Corvid, which is the same thing with updated and advanced features for an open source development platform. So Corvid by Wix is an awesome tool. So without further ado, I'd love to jump into today's video, but before we do that, I can't let you forget about something. Number one, if you haven't already, hit the link down in the description below, wixtrainingacademy.com. Guys, I just updated the site a little bit. We are doing big things over here. So first and foremost, if you want some free Wix content, just click yes, I want free Wix content. But more importantly, if you want to save that time, stress, and worry, and frustration of having to build a website on your own, Reach out to us. My team and I are here standing by, excited to learn more about your project and how we can help. In fact, all you got to do is scroll to the bottom of the homepage and submit your project request, and we'll be back to you ASAP. So let's jump into building Corvid databases and dynamic pages. So first and foremost, in order to activate Corvid, what you have to do is you'll see dev mode up here in your editor. editor excuse me. Then you're going to click enable Corvid. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to get a little welcome to Corvid screen, and we'll click get started, right? So now we've got the Corvid interface open. Same as the Wix code interface, same routine, same everything, uh, except it's now Corvid by Wix. So first and foremost, we're going to be here in the databases today, right? We're going to start with databases. So you're going to see this site structure button over here. You could use this little uh, arrow down here to hide that tree view or pull it back out. And we're going to see database. This is where we're really going to be working today along with dynamic pages, but I'll show you how we get to that in just a moment. So in order to add a database, you could go one of two ways. Uh, you can click this plus button or add a new collection. I'm going to click the plus button. New collection. Now, for those of you that are here joining me on this video, tomorrow, Tuesday, January, or January, July 2nd, I'm doing a uh, Corvid database webinar and explaining and managing and uh, creating databases so i want to show you all that if you're interested in that click that link in the description below about the webinar uh, and we'll get you loaded up there so now that we see this we're going to start creating and it's going to say how to start working with data so you can use a preset which gives you pages and a collection already set up for you which great tool here by corvid or you can start from scratch. So to best serve you, I'm going to start from scratch. You're going to click, click that, and now you're going to give this database a name. Maybe you're creating a social network, and it'll be user profile data. Or maybe you're creating a recipe website, and it'll be recipes. Whatever that is, you're going to put it right here. But it's going to be one word, no spaces, okay? And that's how we're going to create the database collection. So for this example, I'll just do what I said, user profile data. Then you're going to see what's this database collection for. So site content means that anyone can view from this collection. So the data in here, anyone could view. Form submission means anyone could submit data. Uh, then you've got all your member content, right? So member generated content, that means members can add content to this and modify and edit the content. Uh, members only content means only members can view the data in this database. Or members only form submission means only members could submit forms to this database. Uh, then you've got private data. So this is for like admins and admin dashboards. Board, and then you've got custom use. I'm going to click custom use. This gives you the freedom to set up the type of permissions you want. So who can read content from this collection? Well, you know what? Anyone. We'll give it to anyone, right? But who can create content for this collection? Uh, this one's members only. So we're going to give it to the site member. Who can update the content? Well, I want the site member author, the person that created that original content, to be able to modify or delete that content. Uh, and who can delete content? That site member author, right? That's who's in control of creating the content. All right, now we've got our database loading up here, and you can see it's loaded. So 
Uh, we see one field in here already, and we see a little locked icon on that. Why is that? Because this is a default field by Corvid and by Wix, Corvid by Wix. Uh, and it's the title field. This cannot be manipulated, meaning it cannot be deleted. However, you can utilize it. So if you wanted to utilize that title uh, uh, column for something, you can. Do you have to? No. It can stay there as stagnant, but it is a default in the Corvid databases. However, once you've got your database here, um, let's just say you're collecting user profile data. So let me show you kind of how you add, and again, I'm doing a breakdown uh, boot camp type of uh, webinar tomorrow about Corvid databases. So I'm going to give you a brief rundown here on how to get it started. So to add fields, you're going to click add field. Now, if you're building user profile data, you're likely going to want someone's full name, right? So we want full name, the field keys there, and then the field type is going to be text. We see a whole ton of field types here. Corvid has updated a bunch, so it gives you a ton of flexibility and control. So we'll click that, and then uh, maybe we want someone's profile picture, right? They are creating a uh, profile on your website, so might not be a bad idea, except the field type on this is going to be image right because it's a profile picture so we're collecting an image file so we'll click that and then maybe we want someone to have a bio right we want someone to have a bio so we'll click bio and then we want the field type on this to be text you could also choose rich text so they kind of have control over how it looks rather than it just being the default font that you choose but if you want a uniform social network I would just keep it text and then you choose the default on the dynamic page if you want rich text this gives them a little bit more control on how that text actually looks bolded different file font or different font style stuff like that I'm going just text for this and then we're gonna click add so now we've got a database here in Corvid the question is how do we create a dynamic page based off of this database but let's first address what is a dynamic page well We've got our database created, and what the dynamic page is, is the dynamic page allows you to create one single template of the page. So it allows you to create one single template of the page that can be changed across each piece of data in this database. So what I mean by that is say someone submits data in here. They put their full name, profile, picture, bio. Well, you create a dynamic page and that page is one single page with a layout of how you want the profile pages to look. However, when someone submits data, they'll have their own profile page with the exact same template that you laid out with their data inputted into it because it's dynamic. So it changes based off of the data submitted to the database in each individual person in this case would have their own profile page with their own data and they can edit it and they can delete it. I'm not showing you how to do that all in this video, but it can happen and it is not crazy difficult to do. So that's how that works. Now let's go ahead and create a dynamic page. There's a really easy way to do this. You have the database, you click this little gear icon next to the database you want to create a dynamic page for and you press add dynamic page and we're going to let Wix do its magic, start creating. In this case, we're doing a profile page, so it's going to be an item page. There's one single item on that page. That means there's one piece of data from that database being displayed. So it's one line of data. If it was a category page, maybe something like recipes or a list of users, that would be a category. But we're going item. And then you can set your URL here. So you don't have to have it be title. Maybe we want the user's profile to be something a little bit more flashy, right? So you can add full name rather than title if you want um, whoops I'm gonna go back here or you could do title full name anything like that and then you would just double click change the information in here and then you would go ahead and create page so now we've got our dynamic page so what would happen now is you would basically create and design whatever page you want the profile to look like so however you envision your profile page to be you would create it here. Now I'm gonna take a very broad, non-designed, non-thought-out page and just show you how the data connects. So we know we have name, right? So what we want is we wanna go to text and let's just have heading and then we'll say this is full name. Then we have a profile picture, right? So we're gonna go to image, bring it in here and then you're just going to pull a random placeholder image. This image is not going to stay, okay? So this is not going to um, 
permanently be the image for all profile pages. It will, however, be the default example. So let's just pull. Oh, man, who is this handsome man I'm pulling up here? This can't be MPS, is it? Would you look at that? It is. <laughs> it's MPS, everyone. Welcome home. <laughs> All right, so that's our profile image. Again, this is the example. This is a layout page. So the data will change depending on what's submitted to the database. And then last but not least, we have a bio. So what we're going to want here is we're going to want something a little bit lengthier, right? So we'll put our uh, full information in here. Now what we have to do is we have to connect these uh, data elements to the data in the database. To do that, you can see when we created a dynamic page based off of the database, it automatically created a dynamic data set. So this data set is like glue. Think of it like glue. So basically what it does is it connects glues together the information and the data on the page from the data in the database. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to full name. We're going to click this little connect to data. And then our data set is right here. You'll see connect to a data set already there, user profile data. And then text connects to, this is first name. So we want it to connect to full name. Excuse me, full name, not first name. Then you'll see it's successfully connected when you see connected to data. Uh, image, we're going to go connect to data. Then you're going to do the same thing. Image source connects to profile picture. And then you'll see it's successfully connected, turn green. And then lastly, we're going to do that for our bio here. And then text connects to bio, and it turns green. So now we've got all the data in here. You would then save this. And then what you could do is now you've successfully created a, dy a dynamic page and a database. You could go into user profile data now, and you could add some uh, sample data. So I'll add some sample data in here. Let's see, Michael Strauch, and then profile picture. I'm just going to pull this image again, so you will see this image again. I promise it will change if you use a different image. And then bio, Michael wants to help you develop your website shameless plug guys if you're looking at this and you're like oh, I don't want to deal with the stress of this come on over submit a project to our team and we will help you out because we've got an awesome team with some awesome developers awesome project managers that will help you build your dream website and develop something like you've never seen before I got really close to the mic there uh, then we could go ahead and press save all right Wix nation now what we're gonna do now that we've created our dynamic page is we're gonna actually go ahead and see the finished dynamic page uh, again we put in some sample data so in order to do this uh, what we're gonna do is you're gonna see this over here it's really easy you're just gonna click on this because it's the profile extension and you're gonna just click on it and then this is what it would look like if it was a profile page and it gives you the sample to look at what how it would look if that piece of data was included that line of data and this is this is what it looks like just like that uh, and that is how you go ahead and create a database and a dynamic page here in Corvid so if you guys enjoy this video do me a favor drop a like down below I really appreciate it helps me determine if I'm doing well comment if you've got any questions whatsoever I'm here to help and then don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications guys we've got a lot of exciting tutorials coming up here on Wix Training Academy especially with Corvid and last but not least, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. You could click Get Access to the Academy or Yes, I Want Free Content if you want some free content, a lot of it. And don't forget, if you want to save some time, some stress, and some frustration, and you'd rather just hire us to do your project for you, scroll down to the bottom here and submit your project or simply go up here to work with us and submit your project to us. My team and I will be reaching out to you ASAP, quicker than monkeys on a spaceship to Mars. Yep, that's correct. That fast. So, guys, thank you very much again for watching, and I will catch you on our next video together.